Okay, okay, let's run a little scenario. You and I know I was having a couple of pale ales or whatever sitting back. Yeah. Brendo rolls in with this. I would not be able to tell that he wasn't joining us. Yeah, now I think you need to be able to just saunter in and as, just go chaps. How we doing? Mm. Yeah, but <laughs> 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 All right, you guys are beer drinkers? Yes. We're all beer drinkers. Like, that's the, the joke in the industry, right? It's like, it takes a lot of beer to make really good wine. But I've got a bunch of mates. I'm not sure if you guys, it's the same sort of deal, but yeah. I've got a bunch of mates that um, uh, don't, they're not really into wine at all. Mm -hmm. They're trying to go around their places. I don't mind the amount of beer that I drink, but sometimes it's just, you know, it's a little bit too much, makes you a little bit bloated. Feel that. And you feel a little bit out of place sometimes holding a you know fancy wine glass while all your mates have like, you know, big sort of this sort of macho manly things. I like where this is heading. This has actually been solved. This uh, has been solved. There's an innovating company that uh, releases. I want to introduce you guys to the Watch Time. So, <laughs> so <laughs> this is obviously uh, in our shit wine adventures. It's, <laughs> it's legit. So this here, uh, basically, Unbelievable. basically, so it's from Genuine Fred. I'm not too sure who Genuine Fred is. It's uh, oh, it is genuinely actually Fred. <laughs> Um, it's available on Amazon at the moment, so I uh, I couldn't help myself. Mm. I thought I'd um, uh, crack into it. So let's see what, uh, <laughs> what, the, what the Weinstein is. Do you want to do guys want to? Yeah. Wow. So you're bubble saying wrap. bubble wrap? Yeah. Pretty well packaged enough to. <laughs> Good. Gets me excited. So you're telling me that this is going to solve the problem of not looking cool in front of my friends? Yeah. Right. All right. Um, <laughs> if you say so. Then. So yeah, let's pinky out. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, so you wanted some genuine froth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get I, some thought, I thought we would. Uh, ask. Now I, I would like to know whether or not uh, this would be seen as socially acceptable. Um, you pour beers like that. <laughs> Uh, ideally, I wouldn't, yeah, you but got, you gotta pour it like a beer. And you were just yeah, you gotta pour it like a beer. Okay, so we wanna wanna get a little bit, and then you know, a little bit ahead going on. Yeah, so you look normal. Yeah, that's that's, so that's, that's a good beer pour. pour. It's the best beer um, wine pour I've ever seen. So just just you know, one of these ones. Yeah, you look cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, this would be fun at a large house party, like just throwing it out there and hoping no one asks questions. What um. Well, what do you reckon? Would this would this have a place in in your pantry? In my pantry. And how much would you pay for it? Um, uh, this would have a place in my pantry. I'd use it twice a year yeah. when I have a party, and it's the only glass that's left available. Or I just walk out doing this as a joke, and people going, "What the fuck is this?" It's like it's it's complete novelty. I would pay twelve dollars. Mm, you see, it's glass. Like, there's, there's is this actually glass? This is, yeah, it's legit. Yeah, it's legit. There's there's some there's some craftsmanship to this. See, I think I think where you're gonna pick that up for twelve dollars. <laughs> it looks great. I love this. You're gonna pick that up in about three months' time when Laura gets sick of all the crap that Brendo's bought from the Salvation Army. <laughs> You'll get that for twelve dollars. Well, I reckon that is coming in at a cool twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I'm gonna go 34.99 for retail prices. Oh, mate, you're on the money. Yeah, this is on. this is literally 30 bucks Aussie on Amazon right now, uh, and I'm I'm actually a fan of this. I I, I would the I would request a wine stein. The problem that I have with this is that it's like as you bring it up to your mouth, you, your brain flicks over into beer mode. It's interesting, and then it? you sip it. Yeah. And it's like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. That, hey, there is a little bit of that going on. I cider. It's like I'm expecting beer but getting cider, which is really wine. Yeah, bubbly wine. Mm. 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 I, I I don't want to sound too much like I know that we always joke about how I'm the everyman here who doesn't really have any sort of like class to him, but I'm not against having wine in just a normal Stein. Get a bit more wine in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a, uh, dust, <laughs> dust bottles. That solves it. Not worth so it. Not, not, not worth it. it. Not We're worth just it. losing it's, out on volume. It's, it's good for a, it's good for a laugh. It is thirty bucks. Um, I personally would would probably purchase this for a bit of a joke. Yeah. yeah. It's a joke present. It's a joke gift. I wouldn't pay thirty bucks for that joke. No. No. Unfortunately not. But uh, that's all this week for shitty wine inventions. We'll be back next week with a couple more fun ones. A little bit. A little bit naughty. We have naughty ones. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no.